Hi. What's going on? Nothing. Getting the uh, getting the sweet shots for the fans. It's all about the glory. Thing is fast. <laughs> Whitey here from Four Guys Guns, and today we're going to look at the CMC flat bow trigger, three and a half pound pull. Let me tell you, this thing is stupid fast. Um, we're gonna look into it a little bit more, but right now I'm just gonna jump right into comparing it to like a GI trigger. So you can actually see, is it actually worth upgrading, you know, a GI trigger to one of these? So what I've got here is actually a really nice firearm. Uh, this is by Duck Creek Armory. They're out in Iowa. And they were uh, generous enough to let us play with this thing for a while. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this because it's a standard issue GI trigger. So we're gonna make sure everything's clear and open so when I touch the trigger, no one freaks out. All right, so there's your GI trigger. We can see, there's your reset. There's your pulse. So what I'll do is I'll rack it again, get a little closer. All right, so you can see that throw, we can feel the creep, all that fun stuff. So what I'll do right now is we'll slap a mag in here. Charge it up. We luckily have the handy shot timer. We'll get an actual reading on this. It's set on random, so bear with me. Time we have here is first shot, 0.98 seconds. Let's actually get that right in here. 0.98 seconds. Next shot, 1 1.5, 1.4, 1.6, 1 1.7. Now what we're gonna do is with the umlaut, because I'm not sitting there swapping trigger groups for this. I'm sorry guys. Pain in the butt. Well, the CMC isn't, but the other ones are. So we have my rifle, nothing super fancy. Let's see how this one does. Thing is fast. <laughs> All right, let's look at the shot timer. All right, so first shot. 0 0.82, 0 0.98, 1.15, 1.25, 1.4, 1 1.54. So I mean, it's a little less time. It's a little less time from what we're seeing. Um, I'm, I'm sure my consistency is uh, something that's gonna matter most, but you uh, just can't ignore how, at least seemingly fast it is. Now one of the other things that I want you to pay attention to is, let me make this safe. All right. So something else that we should see is that not only, let me get some light behind it, not only is it a nice flat even bar, which really you can get on this little edge here, you can get up higher, you can basically have really good control over this, but we should take notice of how much it takes to break that very little, and then we can actually cycle. Let's look at that one last time. Let's look at the reset. <laughs> Nothing, and then boom, re-engage. So, you tell me that just the, the reset alone and just the actual break, the lack of creep, and by the way, it's a drop-in. So if you have something like a KNS trigger pin kit, or even the pins that come with it, it's really, really easy for you to literally just drop it right in it sits right where it's supposed to it's engineered to perfection the pins go right where they're supposed to go and they even come with little c-clips to make sure that they stay in place 
can't say enough about this trigger so far and I can't wait to keep rocking it. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this thing some more and you stay safe, check your chambers, see if I can't shoot a little faster at the range. <laughs> oh, this thing is sick. Let's see if I can't do some super high speed. That'd be a no.